Welcome back to Booze and Rocks. My name is David Edwards, and today I'm going to use this and some of this to make the penicillin. But first, this. All right, so let's get into the penicillin cocktail. Now the penicillin is another of Sam Ross's cocktails that blew up and has become hugely well-traveled. And he put this together in 2005 while he was at Milk and Honey. Now in Sam's words, I was happy with it, but I really didn't think too much of it. Sam, I guess it was better than you thought. Now the penicillin is in itself a riff on the gold rush, which is based on bourbon. And that cocktail was created at the Milk and Honey by TJ Segal in 2001. And of course the gold rush is a, an updated whiskey sour. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get into making you a penicillin. So the first thing I'm gonna use of course is my mixing glass. I need a blended scotch whiskey for that. And for this, I'm using Monkey Shoulder. This is a uh, beautiful uh, Speyside whiskey. It's a blend of three different whiskeys. Now, two ounces is, of course, 60 milliliters. Which is pretty good. Now, the next thing, of course, I need is some lemon juice. And we're going to use three quarters of an ounce. And, of course, fresh lemon juice is best whenever you can get it. Three quarters of an ounce, of course, is 22 and a half milliliters. Now the next thing we need, of course, well, of course, is a honey syrup. But this is a ginger honey syrup, and this is one to one, one part honey, one part water, and about one part ginger. Now, normally I would use four ounces of each, but I've used this to six ounces of each with a little bit more ginger. And what I'll do is I'll put the ingredients down in the description down below for you. So we want three quarters of an ounce. Oops. Looking pretty good. So what we're gonna do now is we're going to shake this on some ice. And of course I use my fancy clear ice to do this. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna shake this hard for about 60 seconds. Sorry, 10 seconds. There we are, we're nice and ready. So of course the next thing I need is a nice big solid cube of ice. And what I'll do is I'll use my Hawthorne strainer and I'm going to strain this nicely of course. But we're not done. Now what we need is some Laphroaig 10. Now, interestingly enough, I have never, ever, ever had Laphroaig 10. So what we're gonna get here is a little bit of tasting at the same time, and just to see whether I think it's worth it on its own. So we'll grab one of uh, these. Ooh, you can just smell the smoke coming off that right now. It's got some Gorgeous legs, you can tell by the uh, the oils coming off the, uh, the sides of the glass. Oh yeah, um, mm. where have you been all my life? Where have you been? In a Scottish island, that's where it's been. Mmm, mmm, mmm. What am I doing? Oh yeah. We need a quarter of an ounce, approximately, of the Lafroy. And we're just gonna float it on the top. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my spoon, and I'm gonna float it directly onto the ice so that the ice will help to float it. And you get just that little tiny layer. Absolutely gorgeous. But the other thing I need to do now is garnish my cocktail. And what I'm gonna to do to garnish it is I'm going to use some candied ginger. Now I made this candied ginger when I made my uh, ginger uh, syrup. And we got three nice little pieces here. We'll put this right here. And here we go. The penicillin, a modern classic. Sam, 
Let's see how this turns out. This is the first time I've ever had one of these guys. Let's try this. Oh yeah. Um, you get the lemon, you get a little bit of hints of the, uh, the smoky uh, peat on top. Oh yeah, oh. You get just a little bit of the ginger. You can taste a little bit of the uh, the uh, monkey shoulder. It's quite good, quite oh, quite tasty. Gotta try a piece of this because the candy guy. Yeah. Mm. Candy ginger is awesome. Oh, those go together really, really well. Sam, you did a great job. You know what? I highly recommend this to everybody. If you don't like monkey shoulder, try a different blend of, uh, of a blended scotch. You could use Dewar's, for example, if you wanted. Or you could use something like, say, uh, Ardbeg or something like that, or uh, Ron Swanson's favorite. And I want you to tell me what Ron Swanson's favorite is in the just comments down below. But what I am going to do is I am going to put the ingredients in the description for how to make the cocktail plus the syrup down in the description down below. And if this is your first time to my channel, please hit the subscribe button. That way you'll be notified every time I play something, but only if you hit that bell notification. But if you don't like excellent scotch, and if you don't like this cocktail, then you can hit the thumbs down button twice. But we'll see you next time. I'm going to strain this in using my which was created by Mitten Screw. Gold Rush, which is burst up based on bourbon.